Well, we are recording the session. Uh, thank you very much for attending for attending this event. We are celebrating the the World Environmental Day 2017. As you all probably know at this time, this time is uh, related to I am with nature. But we are when we are talking about nature, nature is not uh, only the, the the environment. Uh, nature are, are us, for example. Um, they are not only animals and plants in, in danger. Uh, there are so many people who are in danger too. And now Europe is uh, in a very difficult situation because there are many migrants who need some help. Um, Mm, during this um, event, there will be some colleagues uh, who are very, very happy uh, that they are here with us, uh, sharing their, their projects. And the first, uh, the first of these colleagues is Arantxa. Arantxa is a, a Spanish uh, teacher uh, working in the north of Spain, in Santander. Um, she had uh, in charge of a couple of projects, and the first one is related to the the pulses. Is that right, Aranta? Last day, last year, it was the uh, the year of pulses, and she she had a lovely project about them, and she's going to talk uh, about this topic. So, Arantxa, it's your, your turn. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Yes, well, I want to share with you this uh, amazing project. We have, uh, um, we have been involved during this year. Arantxa, sorry. Can you turn off your, the volume? It's because the, the sound is projected in, into the... There is an echo. Just the, the speakers. No, it's, no, no, it was, no, no, it was only the... The microphone is okay. It's just the speakers. It's to turn a bit the, the volume down. Okay. Well, uh, this is a project we, uh, well, um, Mr. Bean, Mr. Benson, and we have been involved in a lot of schools. No. No, it's more of a No, it's more of a No, and it has very amazing for my students. And in this uh, PowerPoint presentation, I will show you uh, what, what we have done at school in a corner, eh, in a corner dedicated to the project. And we have been planting uh, pulses, uh, different kinds of pulses. pulses. Um, mm, some of them uh, were, have been in exchanged uh, with other partners in the in the project. Uh, in January, we planted some pulses in a corner of our school. And uh, well, the purpose was to uh, uh, grow them um, and, and get some seeds, new seeds from the pots. And well, my students uh, have been um, uh, taking care of the plants. Yeah, they have been, uh, first of all, double leaves, then uh, uh, triple leaves. But, well, unfortunate, unfortunately, we didn't get uh, any flowers. So, well, it was a, quite a failure because in other schools, they um, grew the plants 
and get to the uh, uh, get to have the flower, then the pot, and then new seed. Yeah, I well, I I will I will be very op optimistic uh, about the growing of the um, plants. But well, finally, well, these were the well the, the well after the triple leaves, the the plants um, uh, died. Yeah? We had a uh, Robitsa bean from Greece. Our Greek partners sent us a uh, Robitsa bean. Uh, our French partners uh, sent us cocoa and plantain beans, and we grew uh, some wild uh, beans from the south of Spain. And well, we have been um, mm, watching and uh, writing a diary of uh, the plants. Uh, these were the keys. Mm -hmm. But well, as I told you, uh, finally we couldn't get the uh, the the flowers and nor the pot. These 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 were the little bugs we get to uh, see in the plants. But finally, our plants uh, began to 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 dry. But well, this was one of the activity of the project. But uh, besides, we were uh, um, writing mottos and proverbs about the uh, about the fastest and uh, also um, comic strips and even uh, well nutritional activities um, um, related with um, with the pulses and uh, and some uh, some shorts. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, as we had problems with the with the plants, eh, mm, we also did uh, create create an herbarium. Uh, wait a minute, please. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, that was uh, in 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 the in the in October. We also plant some uh, pulses, but that time uh, we had um, um, we didn't succeed either. And with the with the plants, dry plants, we make a, a sort of a volume hmm? with a cookie beans from France, and then my student uh, um, distinguished the roots, the stems, the double leaves, but no the flowers. And we also uh, um, create. Um, um, a design for a cookie beans, uh, for the uh, cocoa beans from from France, and cavala beans from Greece. And with this activity, we get to know that nature eh, and pulses, in this case, um, have um, many uh, purposes and many lives. And we even get to create something. Um, Artistical with those uh, mm, dried uh, plants. Mm. My students love this activity. First, the uh, mm, planting, then the uh, mm, uh, taking care of the plants, and finally, the creating this kind of herbarium. Mm. Okay, yeah. And well, this is one of the 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 projects. Hmm? If you uh, yeah, well, maybe later you can ask me something about this project that has been for me amazing, also for my students. 
because we have done lots and lots of activities related with cultures. Uh, as Agustin has said, the International Year of Cultures was uh, last year, but we have uh, um, uh, thought that well, uh, this school, uh, school year was uh, a good opportunity to give more life to the events. So we have been celebrating the International Year of Cultures during um, these two years. Okay. And well, if you want, uh, yes. And when I I would like to say that uh, all uh, many of my projects uh, have been related with nature, and I I would like to include something related with nature, with planting, with trees in all of my projects. And I think students love this uh, this fact. They love including some um, um, activity related with nature, with environment, mm. and well, um, yes. And the other one, if you want, I, I can uh, present uh, the other uh, project. In this case, Italanza, uh, please. Is, is there any question about the BINGS project? Just before going to the next one, what do you think? Asking our friends about if they are interested in, in asking you uh, any question about it. Yes, well, uh, I don't want to. Yes, well, uh, um, to, uh, to too long with my presentation, but, but if you are um, okay, the age of my students. Yes, uh, my students are um, from 12 to 14 years old. From uh, 12 to 14 years old in this uh, uh, case, and uh, the uh, uh, countries involved in the project have been uh, many um, schools in Greece, France, um, Croatia, Spain, Italy, Cyprus, and also Tunisia, because it was an Eating in Plus project. Huh? And we have also a blog, a blog, I don't know if, uh, well, uh, I have not opened the blog here, but if you, uh, Look at um, the a blog, uh, Mr. Dean, Mrs. Lenfield, and the Chinese piece. You can find a lot of information, and there were also two um, um, three. Uh, invited countries uh, such as Brazil, India, and China. And um, those um, countries have been creating some activities too. Hmm? But uh, you can also have a look at the blog. Hmm? Have you any questions? Have you any questions? Mila is writing and some of the participants are writing too. Ah, Antonella said that, that she'll see the blog. Hello Josefina, how are you? Okay, uh, could you show us, uh, Rancha, uh, the next project about Swallow? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, just a minute, just a minute, yes. Can you see the presentation?
Can you see the presentation? Yes, well, well, mm, this project, well, um, this one, the project was uh, was called the Swallow is a Refugee or an Immigrant. And we have been uh, working many, many um, um, schools in Greece, in Cyprus, in Tunisia, and in Spain. Yes. And uh, this is one of the activities we have done. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, mm, uh, we have a talk with our students about the reasons why people go away, migrate, and well, many uh, mm, uh, birds and animals to migrate. And we wanted to compare that migration with uh, the real migration of people going away from war or going away uh, from uh, um, disasters and uh, looking for better life conditions. And when I have selected this uh, PowerPoint uh, uh, about um, an activity two uh, schools have done. Eh? The primary school in uh, Hania, Greece, and my school in Santander, Spain. Mm -hmm. My students are uh, 12, 13 and 14 years old, and the, the students in Greece uh, had a uh, five, six years old, but we have made a very nice, very nice uh, activity together because, well, we have uh, um, created avatars or drawings about uh, refugees going from one country to the other country. And Stella was a seven years old girl who came to uh, Spain, going away from a uh, war in Greece. And mm, the students there draw this nice uh, girl, Stella, and we were hosting uh, her. Uh, my group from second A, mm, um, uh, Absalon, Joel, Alejandro, Javier, uh, Hugo and, and Christina were hosting her uh, and they offered her what um, uh, they could give her. And uh, each of my students uh, gave her virtually uh, their um, very uh, their belongings, their house, their food, and uh, not only they hosted Stella, eh, who came from Kenya to Santander, but also eh, they sent refugees to Kenya, Greece, and uh, they also created avatars. Mm -hmm. eh? mm. Gustavo, Mar Marta, um, told a story. Hmm? They were um, going away from war, eh, from uh, a difficult situation here, and mm, they were uh, hosted by students in Kenya. Hmm? But well, as I had uh, 27 students, all my group created uh, their avatars and hosted uh, students uh, or migrants from uh, from Greece. Uh, in this case, Konstantinos uh, was uh, seven years old uh, who came to Santander from, from Greece. Mm -hmm. And these were what my students gave to him. Mm -hmm. Another group were hosting another uh, girl from Kenya, uh, Lambrini. And well, was uh, this was the the mm, well, a, a very nice activity that all my students loved. Mm. And finally, Bagelia came to Spain, and this this was this uh, this was what my students were offering her. We had a video conference eh, with Kenya and Greece, eh, 
first the uh, Tanya hosted us eh, for the conference and then we host uh, Hania and well uh, give them um, thanks eh, for the nice activity we have had eh? uh, both my group and the group of uh, Chinese students in Hania love this activity eh? and we also exchange some uh, handmade cards eh? so this is this was a, a an activity of the um, project eh? Uh, and took place since February to April this year, mm -hmm. and but uh, and it was a very nice uh, activity. Mm -hmm. And well, that's all. If you have uh, some um, mm, questions, please to to answer them. Yes, Josefina. Would you like to do a question for Alanta? Uh, uh, Agustin, have you heard me? Yes. Yes, perfectly well. I I found a headset just to avoid the echo. <laughs> yes, and well, uh, both uh, projects were related with nature, uh, from my point of view, because well. Uh, Yes, as you have said, Agustin, all we are nature, we are connected with nature. And I, I think our students um, need to uh, have that um, relation with nature. And well, in this uh, project about refugees and swallows, they also investigated about birds that migrate, uh, uh, such as swallows or um, um, well, such a, well, um, swallows, eh? Swallows and stars, yes, all. Yes, that, that's right. <laughs> and we created uh, presentations and drawings about that, uh, this species, and we wanted to compare that with the, the need of many, many people to migrate, uh, looking for education, for. Uh, for their rights. Yeah, for better conditions of living, no? Of living. Uh, Josef Josefina would like to know how long was the, how long the project? Uh, all the year, all the year, from October to, uh, to May. We have been working on the project all the year, and we have been doing some specific uh, activities and this one of the hosting uh, Miguel, it took us uh, three months because, well, it is uh, hard to to work with uh, young students. And from from February to April, we were working on that activity, but we have done many activities about uh, swallows, about uh, birds that migrate, and about migrants. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, interesting for my students. Yes. Oh. <laughs> well. It's not my fault now. I think it's not my fault. No, no. <laughs> no. It's not your fault. <laughs> fault. Uh, Okay, any other question for Arantxa? Uh, would you like to talk about your project? No, for me it's okay. Uh, thank you very much for uh, giving me this opportunity because, well, uh, this is the first time I share a presentation in the e-tuning live and, well, it has been a pleasure for me. And with some technical problems, but well, uh, maybe other uh, uh, other uh, colleagues want to uh, present their project. You did it very well, Arantxa. No, no, it's true. It's true. 
Well, and the first time is uh, is normal that it was a bit stressful, no, for you because you should find the the presentation, the screen, the so many things. So you did it very well. Thank you very much, Arantxa. Is there anybody uh, who would like to to share your experience? Maria, Ivan, Antonella, Alija. Or in case in the case you you haven't done a project related to to nature, environment, uh, migrants, you can probably tell us about any action you have prepared at your school celebrating the environmental the World Environmental Day, or during the the academic year. It doesn't matter. Would you like to tell us, Maria, about your urban green, green in the city? Don't worry about the presentation. I think you have your microphone open and just you are free to speak and tell us something about your and, and connect it. I can give uh, the the rights to to the video in case you you would like to. Oh, sorry, Maria. It's a pity. Antonella, it doesn't matter. It was Arantxa, it was for Arantxa the first time connected as well, so you, you, you must not be panicked about it. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you had no webcam. You can tell us your, your experience of your project. Can you hear okay. me? Okay. Okay. Yeah, Hi, well. everybody. <laughs> I'm so proud to be with you. It's I... the first time for me. And woo! <laughs> okay, I work a, in a kindergarten school. Okay, and this year the team for uh, uh, all the here at school was uh, the nature respect the nature um, and uh, we worked with our uh, I don't know how to say it administration okay school and administration civic administration are uh, different okay um, they proposed us to uh, work uh, to respect nature and so we want to, uh, I don't know how to say my English is, <laughs> uh, okay, we want to uh, uh, leave uh, all uh, the, uh, the words uh, uh, in, the, uh, in the wood, okay, uh, there, uh, we, we to teach uh, the children to respect uh, they uh, pick up uh, um, bottles uh, um, uh, 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 tins uh, and so on that uh, uh, okay uh, I don't know how to say it <laughs> sorry <laughs> I'm trying to open uh, Google Translator <laughs> when I'm speaking. <laughs> okay. Uh, another project was to not to use a, a bottle uh, for water, but use uh, uh, cups. Okay. Uh, uh, when we have lunch, because we used the, 
bottles, a lot of bottles, and uh, we made a lot of plastics uh, to throw away, okay? To reduce uh, this throwing of plastics, we, w uh, we started using cups uh, for water, okay? And another project is, uh, uh, I don't know how to say it, uh, uh, to uh, uh, have in our garden a place to uh, grow up plants uh, such as peas, uh, salads, uh, and so on. So this year we worked uh, about these things. Uh, we made in our school for us not to uh, participate and collaborate with others, but uh, it was uh, just to start, mm? okay? And now I start talking to you and uh, I thank you very much for your patience. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> next, next time, I will improve my English. Antonella, <laughs> don't be shy. Antonella, don't be shy. You did it very well, and thank you very much for participating in telling us this lovely project. So, is there any other colleague who would like to talk about uh, their experience, environmental project, or... Hello, Mehmet, how are you? Hello, Paola, how are you? Josefina. You can... You can talk, Josefina, if you would like. Thank you very much, Antonella, for sharing your, your material. Lovely. Bueno, as you probably know, uh, there is, uh, I moderate a group. Uh, you can upload your video in the group. Our group is related to nature and environment. So you can upload it in the section of material, um, open the page with your projects and your activities. The activities you have done with your students in your in your school. So this is to to let you know the group and um, and at the same time celebrating the, the the World Environmental Day. So uh, any any question about Antonella's project? Or would you like to talk about your actions to celebrate uh, this important day? Yeah, I can hear you very far, sorry. Are you Maria or Josefina? You are Josefina. Because we had a, an, old, an old connection. And, and it happened. To Hello? Josefina. Can you hear me? Josefina. Are you, are you um, Maria? I am jo no, Josefina. Ah, Josefina. Can you hear me now? Josefina, perfect. Well, very well. Very well. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, okay. Happy, happy uh, environmental day to all of you. And thank you, uh, Adan Sassou, and uh, uh, for your, what I have uh, been able to, to see. And it's a fantastic project. Uh, I, I did not prepare anything because I just uh, came back from Ireland. And I had no time, but fortunately, I have a, sh a short presentation 
uh, on my um, pro one of my projects. Uh, the name is Getting Around Town and Beyond, and the project. Can I share my my doc? Can you see it? Uh, Agustin? I can't hear you. I'll start. I hit my microphone. I, I, I didn't remember. I did it. Sorry, Josefina. I was talking along here. <laughs> so. Well, um, <laughs> I'm going to this is what I was make your home. Okay. So now you can. I'm going to share my screen. Yes. Okay. All right. So this is uh, the project. Uh, its name is uh, Getting Around Town and Beyond. And what I want to share first is a short presentation. Oh, sorry. I thought it was here. <laughs> Don't worry. This is the... Okay. So, this is. Uh, going Around Town and Beyond uh, uh, started as a result of a failure in when uh, two two teams three four teams from four different countries asked for a k2 project and we had a lot of points but not enough to get funds so we decided part of the members of this k2 decided to work on any twinning project having to do with the uh, with environment and with the uh, mobility sustainable mobility and uh, well, this is a presentation I I I, I presented at uh, creative classroom groups, and it's, it was not exactly to, to talk about the project in itself, but about the challenges for uh, multidisciplinary teams in schools, because this is the first time I have uh, really worked with uh, different teachers. Uh, taking part in the same project um, from my school and from other schools. We have had mirror uh, teams. Uh, the project, uh, the partner schools were in Palomeni in Italia, GB in Palomeni in Italia, and ES Ben Almadena, the school I work in. And uh, uh, apart from linguistic competencies, because the the, the uh, founders uh, are uh, language teachers, English language teachers, uh, the idea was to create a um, multidisciplinary um, project, but with the the main topic being uh, sustainable mobility. Creating and spread a culture of sustainable mobility among students was the main the main objective learning about innovative and transport modes encourage students to use eco compatible transport modes promote the achievement of healthier habits such as walking or cycling and make students more aware of the environment around them and of the environmental problems related to their lifestyles uh, lead students to act more responsibly in order to generate a better quality of life and reduce problems related to traffic and parking. So, as you can see, uh, there were lots of um, um, uh, big uh, objectives, which uh, I don't know if we have uh, achieved all of them, but throughout uh, the, the life of the project, students have uh, done a different uh, set of activities such as, I'm going to show you now the, the, the twin space. We had um, the project schedule and uh, presentations, for example. Um, we had different sorts of presentations. They, they presented their schools in groups and then they created uh, games for the partners. So there were presentations, and then you have games to play. 
After this, after the, the first set of, of activities, we have uh, uh, activities related to, to presenting themselves, but in a funny way. We had the Who is Who game, and we provided uh, digital badges uh, uh, depending on their achievements, of their if they if they got the goals, so all about me was uh, divided in a different in different set uh, set of activities. Finally, the names of the of the photos, for example, in all uh, step two, we gave the instructions uh, through a cartoon. After that. They had to follow the instructions and post a thing link guessing who was who they think people were in each photo. So they took a photo and uh, tried to guess who was who in the photo. And uh, finally, they, after uh, teachers uh, had a look, they had the ranking here, and they got their Hello. badges. Then people's names were revealed. I don't know how much time I have. Now I'm going to show you uh, the, st the project structure was uh, on one side, the history teacher wanted to, uh, the students to work on the idea of humanity coming from the wheel to the flying cars and beyond. And so students created presentations around the history of, um, of transport. So this is, these are uh, some previous presentations. Some students tried to make their family, family uh, transport yeah. history. And here you have, uh, they, they gathered uh, different families, uh, students' families' uh, cars, and uh, some of them created um, a presentation uh, about alternative oh. mobility. So each group, there were there were twelve different international groups, and they had to work in different aspects of sustainable uh, mobility. So we have alternative mobility collaborative work. Then we have European best practices collaborative work. This group uh, uh, has not pasted, they, they have not pasted the final presentation. But I can show you how they have worked online via forum. Okay. So they, they had, each, of, each group had their own forum and they had to um had uh, to to work with their partners on the forum which as you can see uh, can see is full of work they had to share a google form to gather the information from all the members of the group and then they had to present their conclusions or in their pages yeah. okay and some of them are still uh, finishing their work. That's why you didn't see. So uh, the history on one side. Then we had uh, we had a um, the, the, a driving question. Always following the PBL, the project-based uh, driving question. What do we know? What do we know about carbon footprint? Uh, how does it affect differently in certain countries? So some of the students have have um, investigated how carbon footprint affects different parts of the world, for example, in Europe or in Asia or Africa. Okay, for example, I don't know. I can show you these people have still not uh, uh, finished their final work. But, for example, uh, this group have uh, uh, investigated pollution in Asia. Yeah. Okay? Uh, other, other students have, uh, have made an, a survey 
about how much how, how much carbon footprint does anyone uh, 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 launch to to the environment and they had to to answer a survey which was in the forum and after the after that they had to uh, paste their carbon footprint here which as you can see some of them uh, is very very high 226 percent but some of them got got a very low 52 percent is a very low carbon personal carbon footprint is very low so they were able to uh, for example Esther only 47 percent so they were very surprised to see how they pollute it without even noticing. So after that, they had uh, uh, on this padlet they had to write what they had to do to uh, to lower their carbon footprint. So Marta decided she had to eat more vegetables, use more the bicycle, and reduce, reuse, and yeah. recycle. So. I think this is this was the most reflective uh, activity, and they have learned a lot about it. And what we had, we had plenty of more activities, as you can see, and we have not finished. We we still are yeah, working yeah, yeah, yeah. on it. Uh, I think uh, you can have a, uh, an idea of uh, the final. Uh, we are now, the uh, students are uh, finishing their presentations and the conclusions will be a padlet where students will paste their opinion about the project and uh, their ideas about uh, their becoming less environmental harmful. So, I don't know. Uh, if you want to make any questions? Josefina, I want They have worked... Yes, they have worked... They have been working with documents from the European co uh, Commission. A uh, part of the students have worked on, on documents which uh, they, they were searching and they found uh, the, the, mm, a ranking, uh, a European ranking for uh, European uh, countries, uh, countries which don't yeah. pollute. And they have done uh, very interesting things. Let's see. Uh, I told them not to paste uh, mm, links. And uh, I have to, to mend, continually uh, write them and tell them, please don't do that. Because our partners, Italian partners, is the first time for them on an to winning project. So they, they don't get the idea, although we are always explaining them not to paste links, uh, but we have to, to insist. Uh, for example, in, in spot uh, modifi modifiable, uh, modifiable behaviors and the European best practices, we have mind mappings of the students' mobility, they used, uh, they thought about themselves, would, what they usually did when they moved uh, uh, in a spam or, or a week, so that they could reflect how, uh, how could they stop uh, polluting by using cars, by, um, by using other type of alternative mobility. Okay, let's see. Yeah. I wanted to show you, let me see, uh, survey. The survey, this group made a survey. No, group 10A and 10B. Sorry, I had not, nothing prepared, so I don't, I can't remember now where where it is, my map, teams, out oh, here it is. Really interesting. Well, I think you can get the idea, yes, because they haven't finished pasting everything there, 
And we have uh, little time now, but there it is. The, the thing is, I wanted them to reflect. Uh, the language teachers uh, collaborated with, with uh, social sciences and uh, math teacher. The, the math teacher asked the students uh -huh. to create um, to create um, problems based on their uh, based on their uh, on how sorry let's see if we can see one of them he provided the instructions and uh, he he tell them he told them sorry he told them how to create their uh, their uh, problem. It's a real life problem and they have to know how much a car in your family, in their family, contaminate in a weekly trip. They had to create the problem, write them, uh, create a platoon for their partners to try and solve the problem. So this was the main idea. And this activity is going to be done after the June exams, or, uh, yeah. next week, after next week, because this is like the final Gymkhana, math Gymkhana for the mm -hmm. project. And that's all. We have tried to give badges to, to provide with some sort of gamification um, link to the project. Uh, I, 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 I'm when did yes. you start the, this project? When did Sorry? you start this project? Yes, yes. we started very late because uh, the Italian partner didn't know any anything, although she's been uh, joined to each winning for, uh, for some mm -hmm. time. Uh, she doesn't seem to have worked much on it. And she is the coordinator of our uh, European project. She's always uh, um, engaged in, in a lot of things, just like me. But <laughs> um, and but her students have not uh, used uh, a twinning. These students taking part in the project have not taken part in any other other project. So I, I've had lots of difficulties to make them understand, and I'm still having, because they they don't get the idea of uh, collaboration. My students have been working in it winning for some time now, and they know what they need to do. They know what collaboration is, and it sometimes it's difficult to work with with students who have not collaborated yeah. online. Yeah. And with so many teachers from the Italian part taking part in the project, they don't seem they in Italy don't seem to be coordinated yeah. enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, not every <laughs> not everything is uh, shines. Not everything shines here. But I think we have worked a lot, and my students have worked mm, a lot. And what we have done most is um, synchronic collaboration. We have tried to meet uh, in the in the last two months. We have had uh, online conferences every Thursday, uh, so that students could uh, could better understand what they had to do. And they have also used the, the Google Docs and the forums in a synchronic mm -hmm. way. Yes, so uh, I always I always like to make the most of e-twinning uh, e-twinning tools. I like using e-twinning tools. Although you use something, uh, uh, lots of other tools, online tools. But I think we should try to make uh, uh, a high uh, percentage of use of, uh, for example, forums or uh, I video say I, I am of the same opinion as you. Uh, well, no, we, we know each other <laughs> for a long time and we share the same philosophy of using the, the e-twinning tools. 
do, do you mind, yeah. uh, Josefina, if I... Because Maria, I uh, cannot pronounce properly Maria's surname, Sur Surjidaki. I don't know if... Sur ah, see. Sí. Okay, Surjidaki, see. Sí. Propound yes. uh, to open a library of, of um, uh, projects, projects of uh, reference. I, I don't like to use the... Mm -hmm the terms good practices because for me good practices are all practices so uh, projects mm -hmm. who, who are which are sorry um, good with a with a quality and and give them some uh, ideas to the rest of the winners so do you mind if i can, I can uh -huh. use it yeah Oh no, no, I don't mind. The 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 thing is that our students have not finished yeah. the activity. The twin space is still not public, but uh, we are going. At least I'm going to ask for the quality uh -huh. label uh, as soon as I can, because this project is the, is the, is the, is uh, yeah. open now, and the moment I ask for the quality. Label, you know, uh, uh, the twin space is open, so uh, it's going to be shared. But do you want me to o to upload the the open twin space? The, the, what uh, I'm going to suggest you all is that I open the a page with ref uh, projects of references, or and you can upload it when you finish when you finish them. Okay. Yes. No problem. Point? No problem. Uh, it's a pleasure, and it, thank you for your invitation. Well, you know that it's, uh, <laughs> it's not. Uh, uh, I I I realized my project uh, was too ambitious, but it was not me who um, who tried to make it so ambitious. It was the oh. the Italian partners who made it so ambitious. At the beginning, I told them it was going to be tough, and we were going to have uh, little time to do or such a huge yeah. uh, program. Uh, and they said, "Oh, no matter, we work, we work." Okay, but they didn't take into account that uh, in the in the span of a year, you have uh, uh, different holidays, you have. Uh, uh, if you have more work to do, you have different assessment uh, periods, you have plenty of uh, technological problems as well. So you have to count on this. You can make the project so ambitious. And uh, this project is ambitious. Uh, it's so ambitious, we, 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 we are not going to finish it in a proper way. But my students are overwhelmed and they have worked so much that I think they deserve the quality label because because yes. of their work. Although although not everything was done. I don't I want you to tell me your yeah, opinion. You, you deserve it. I, I was amazingly surprised because it, it was very good. Just this weekend I was in the National Botanical Garden. Just spreading the, the the word of sustainability and doing with the visitors the carbon footprint and and when I saw you 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 have done it in your product it was fantastic so congratulations Josefina I think it it, it will Thank be you, uh, the next European prize eh? <laughs> I don't know no. I don't know because I don't I don't know if the Italians are going to ask oh. for the prize, you know. They what? I don't know. We, I want them to ask for for it, but I don't know if they're going to do it or not. I try oh. to convince them. <laughs> another another very good thing about the project has been the you know uh, I presented it on the creative classroom in the on conference because of the teamwork. Um, this project has uh, served 
uh, the idea of team, twinning teams working together mm -hmm. in a school. And this is uh, something I've always wanted to do. And this year I've had uh, a team working together on a twinning, mm -hmm. on the same a twinning. And at the same time, we have done a, a grupo, a collaboration group uh, for the uh, Centro yeah. de Profesores. Uh, we belong to a Centro de Formación de Profesores in Marbella, and we have been working on, because these teachers were also on experience, they had no experience, my, my colleagues in at yeah. ES Benalmadena, they had no experience at all in a twinning. They were completely new, and they have discovered a new way of Not working. Uh, they 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 have they they have uh, met the possibility of working with the colleagues here and on the other side, uh, uh, with colleagues in Italy, or and they they were very surprised. Uh, Not only because this could be uh, possible, but also because uh, they see that I, I'm always happy to talk with my colleagues. I'm always uh, happy to work. I don't mind spending hours yeah. working with them. And they see uh, this is something which enrich, enriches their uh, professional development. They, it's, it's good for their yeah. professional Maria, development. So I hope they can they can go on where, wherever they go. They can go on yeah. with e-training because they they have seen it's a very good thing for students and for yeah. for them. Anansha would like to say uh, something, but and, and Maria Saduki asks you how do you integrate the curriculum into into the project? This is a very interesting question that many of our yes, students in the ministry course ask us, no? Do you remember? <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, and uh, I think it's, it's, it's key. Uh, the idea that the project has time, it's, it's, it's uh, programmed with its, pro uh, with its uh, um, timetable, for the whole year, and that it's integrated in the curriculum. Uh, I integrated in the curriculum this project because my students uh, are in the bilingual uh, section of my school, and they have the social sciences is in English, and then math is always also in English. So we had to create a project which integrated as many subjects as uh, we had in English mm -hmm. at this level. In the third year of ESO, they have math in English and social sciences. Well, social sciences or na uh, natural sciences, uh, they both of them work the idea of environment, uh, of pollution, of society, uh, cars, industries, so we, we, we had it very easy. It was very easy. And uh, an environmental uh, project is, I think, one of the best issues you can take to create an e twinning project. And uh, the most important thing is that from the beginning, we, not, we knew we, we were going to work at least for one hour a week. And I told it at my school. I had my ICT room for one hour each week for this room. And when I, when I created my program uh, for the third of SO bilingue, I had it winning. I have it in, in the project, uh, in the program. So it's completely, um, it, it, it is uh, assessed, yeah. evaluated. It's got, uh, it's uh, part of the marks belongs to the project work, yeah. and they know it. For example, uh, the ba uh, badges, we, 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 we are allocating mm -hmm. badges, 
at the end of the year. We're not allocating budgets uh, uh, during the project. I send the budget after I've seen what every student has mm -hmm. achieved. Uh, and after the budget, they also have to, uh, they are also, uh, they have self-evaluation. Uh -huh. They have to self-evaluate themselves as an individual work and also as uh, how they they worked mm -hmm. in a team. If, uh, so all this sort of evaluation is is uh, mm -hmm. very important. So it's it's it completely integrated. In in my school, I have two projects this year, two uh, founded by me and a partner, and both of them have uh, been integrated because uh, I, I, I've been doing it with uh, bilingual students. Uh, my other project is, is uh, WhatsApp. I think yeah. you've heard about it. WhatsApp is, is for smaller children and it's also uh, at the begin, very beginning of the year I talk to the, to the school head, I talk to the to the head of the studios, I talk to the ICT teacher. I have to be allocated at least one hour in the ICT, and with the with the, um, uh, we have not enough, of course. Uh, for example, in third of ESO, I have four hours, and uh, some week, weeks we took two hours, so half the time for project work. So that's. That's completely integrated. I have no problem in that. I think it's the way we should go. I, I dream with a day. I dream with a day. I can work only project work. Well, I, I don't know uh, what is waiting for. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Well, congratulations, Katerina. Your project is great. Eh? So thank you very much for sharing it. Eh? It's great. Lots of activities. Very interesting. Uh, very well planified. Oh, okay. So well, congratulations. Thank you. That's what I wanted to tell you. Thank you. You know, like, uh, it was a no. lot of work. No, no, no. no. Lots of hours. Lots of but hours. You have Lots of hours at school at and lots of hours <laughs> at home. At home, because you have, we have, I have 30 students. 30. And my colleague has 40 students. So it's a huge yeah. amount of work. A huge amount of work. Oh. Yeah? Now, uh, I will speak. I, I use the, the, the showering screen, not my first time in a, a live yeah. conference. Can yeah, yeah. You, you are the host. You can... I change the screen and you can show us the... Josefina, thank you very much. Okay. Thanks to you for inviting us. Yes. Can you see my, my project now? Mr. Bean, Mr. Yeah. Sassel, yeah. Can you see? Yes, yes. Can you see? Yes. Okay. Just, just have a look. This project has lots, lots of work too. Yeah. So if you have some time, you can have a look. Yeah. This, these are the, the all the schools. Oh. Yes, yes. Yes. It is. My easy. God. Yes, yes. And well, this is my. Yes. This is my school, and I have, uh, well, I have here, I have my activities, and also, well, the, the connection to the blog, yeah? but if you have a look, there are lots and lots of schools, and not only schools, but lots and lots of wow. um, activities. Hmm? A school, uh, wait a minute, because what is this? Uh, we have jingle bells here. We have oh. Green marker, travel. Oh. Warm beach, summer, and not some. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Qué bonito. Uh, nutrition activities, art, beans activities, 
and we, the, w there is plenty, plenty of work here too. And, and it is a very funny and work, um, um, interesting um, project, you know. And uh, well, this is one one of the uh, uh -huh. creations here. Yeah. Can you see? Can you see? Yes, the presentation with my students. And well, you are right, Josefina, because well, I well, uh, I also have one uh, work a week in the ICT lab, yeah? and I work with my students uh, once a week. And all the colleagues in the project know that we are working that time, we are doing our activities and try to um, work to synchronize work, as you said, you know? Mm -hmm. And well, this has been a very nice uh, project. Uh, we have uh, created um, um, Yes, uh, Such a great work. Well, this is a, yes, wow. A work, uh, I wanted to show you something more. Well, uh, um, uh, I think it is here. Uh -huh. I'm going to use the right thing too. Yes. And a multi, uh, a multidisciplinary uh, uh, project. But also, well, in the middle of project because there were um, uh, students uh, from kindergarten, so young students, and uh, well, we haven't used um, the the phone because well, uh, our students are quite uh, young, but well, the 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 results are great. Oh. Hmm? Me encanta, me encanta. Amazing. The founders were and last year I worked with one of the founders too and they do great job. And my students have been very, very engaged with the with the project. And you see I yes. think uh, what NATO has been part of our uh, well we tried twice to grow the and well, we didn't get to the pot and nor the flower. Yeah. But well, my students and other students have been mm, dedicated to, to see how uh, the little plants grew at school. Uh, some of them had uh, green, uh, uh, green gardens at school, but uh, we didn't. And it's fantastic. Very, very engaging. Congratulations. For, uh, my students. <laughs> so, well, we're showing you this because, well, uh, uh, this, this is the first time I, I saw the screen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Me gusta mucho. <laughs> Bueno, sí. me tengo que ir. Josefina Agustín. Arancha. Que Arancha. bueno. Que muchas gracias. Ha sido un placer, Arancha, conocerte. Me ha encantado, me ha encantado, me ha encantado. Precioso. <risa> este, este, que, que yo quiero ser alumna tuya. <risa> Como, como decía mi, mi asistente lingüística del año pasado, decía, ay, yo quiero ser una alumna. Digo, sí, claro. <risa> es que dan ganas. Ojalá hubiéramos tenido nosotros estos profesores y esta oportunidad. Claro que sí. Yeah. I'm sorry. So, oh, sorry, sorry. <risa> sorry for my Spanish. I beg your pardon. I'm telling you I have to go now. My Pilates is waiting for me. Bye. So see you. <laughs> Bye. Uh, it was a I'm pleasure. Too. Nice to meet you all. Agustín. Un besito. Un beso. Hasta pronto. <laughs> Hasta luego. Sí. Chao. Chao. Antonella Conchita Dori es en tela Ivan María Paola. Uh, I think this is the end of, of our event. Uh, in case you, you haven't uh, shown your projects,
think we can finish here. What do you think? Any suggestion? Would you like to show your projects or your activities uh, for celebrating the, the World Environmental Day? Okay, I think it's, it's time to prepare dinner. Uh, thank you very much and uh, we'll keep in touch and, and go to the sense group that probably when when they finish when we finished our event, I'll create a, a, a new page to, for this reference project. Thank you very much and lots of love for you all. Thank you. Bye. Arancha. Thank you very much. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If I share the screen with my computer, there's uh, a. I have no opportunity to, to follow the, the, the conversation. No, the, no, the, the, yeah, there's. The, the, when you share the, the screen, there's a little bit of the screen on the bottom right, and you can, you can open it. So you can see the whole presentation and the little screen on the right and you can open it you can share, share your screen yeah for instance i go and share it yeah And now there is a little screen on the at the bottom right. Is that okay? Can you see? Click on the probably a square at the top, and you can open it. No. Sorry, I'm going to no. let let me. I need to do it. Wait a minute. Yeah, can can you manage? Oh yes, now This I is can. this is the way. Yeah. Well, no, I have a couple of of uh, screen. You know, have one. <laughs> you, for example, this is another. An extra screen. Can you see? I have a couple of one. One here and one here. <laughs> so, so for so for me, it's easy to. Well, sometimes, sometimes it's easy to to go to go in different sides, in different places. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thank you very much because we have published presentation here, and well, uh, I have done it well. I, well, I, I, well no, no, you did it very well, it, and I this is a question of well, uh, practice. Yeah. That's all. But for the first time, it's fantastic, and here this is a. Um, it's very easy and simple. Uh, there is a toolbar at the top, and you can, you know, play with the different uh, menu. You no, know? you can see manage meeting. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And your activities, and well, as I said before, well, I 
think make case very, very important and all, I, I try to keep it to, to, to have the, the green touch in all my projects. All my projects uh, have a green uh -huh. touch. Uh, last year we planted some trees at school and it, it was quite yeah. it, it was interesting and amazing for all my students. And uh, this year we have planted pulses. Thank, thank you very much. I think uh, sustainability is not just part of science. It's more than that. It's, but it's a hard work to, to spread the idea of sustainability. This is why uh, I went yesterday to the National Botanical Garden in Madrid and <laughs> different places, no? because just to to tell people that we can do a lot, a, a lot of things in favor of nature, no? and, and simple things in our routines, in our habits. To, uh, if we can manage to change some simple habits, I think the the planet will be healthier, no? But it's a hard work, and we we all need uh, each other to to convince more more people. Uh, Thanks to you, Arantxa. And uh, I create a page for project or reference because it's a very good idea. Maria Sarduki always give us some good ideas. A lot of kisses for you all. It's fantastic work. Thanks a lot, Arantxa, for being here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.